I am very excited to have my next guest join us. Her debut EP is called Ventura. It just came out and it is Sofia Valdez. Sofia, how are you? Thank you so much for doing this. Well, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> thank no, you. I'm a big fan of your music. I uh, have been looking forward to this. No. This is a, a, a nice background that you have here. I love checking in with artists to get the, their natural environment. So where are you checking in from? Yeah, well, actually, I just feel ISIS, but um, right here where I'm sitting is where I did the EP, like right like this. Um, and this is my room. This is my bedroom. This is where I grew up in. Well, I didn't grow up in this bedroom, but like this is my bedroom. In Panama? Yeah, in Panama. Yeah. Ah, okay. What is it? been like having to be kind of isolated and, and grounded in you know your childhood home throughout these last yeah, almost year um, here. to be honest like it was very difficult well I mean I guess for like everyone it was it has been very like weird and stuff but um you know like I'm in an apartment so like I it's, there's no like outside like I couldn't go outside for like the longest time now like we can, like they just um, open back up. But yeah, it was definitely not easy. It was nice being home again because I hadn't been in my house for like five years for this long. So yeah. It's also nice that you get some fa you know, quality family time, right? Kind of like when you were a, a little kid, you're just like, okay, you got mom, you got uh, all your relatives with you. You have your sister driving you around and things like that, so. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, my sister is definitely driving me around. Yeah. I, 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 I definitely wanted to bring that up because I found that very interesting. Out of all your TikTok videos, that's like one of the most viewed. Where it went viral. I was like, what happened? It's so, <laughs> so just for people that may not know, it's just a clip of you being chauffeured around by your sister because she just yeah. what, turned 16 and she has a driver's license and you don't. You can drive and I can't because I get really nervous when I'm in a car. Like even if someone else driving, I'm like, like paranoid. So me driving when I've tried, I like, I'm like, ah, and it's just not good. So like, I can't drive. And I mean, hopefully I'm getting rid of that fear, but, um, she she was she didn't she didn't know I was recording. Oh really? And then I posted it, and then because like all my TikToks have like three views and like no likes, because so I was like fine whatever. And I just posted it as a joke, and then like an hour later, I looked at I looked at the TikTok, and it had like thirty k like views or something. And I was like, what? And I called my sister, and we were both like laughing, and she's like, why would you put that? <laughs> And now it has millions of views. Yeah. So funny. I like, it's so funny. TikTok. TikTok. That's so interesting to hear you say that you have that uh, type of feeling when you're driving on the roads and you have this anxiety, this anxious feeling, because I understand you had a, a roadmap, a, a five-year plan, a 10-year plan. I don't know how many years you had planned in advance when you were little about what you wanted to achieve. And one of those things was to move out of your house by 16 years old. That was kind of like the highlight that I understand that you told your mom, I got to get out of here by 16. So for someone that had this independent mind, I would have thought that, okay, one of those things was, I'm going to drive myself out of here. Yeah, I guess it's just like, like I knew kids were like driving at 16 and stuff, but um, like, I don't know, I think, I was I always wanted to live somewhere else and then where I lived there was never the need of a car because um I was in boarding school and in boarding school you're just like on campus and then when I went to um lived in Liverpool it's kind of like a small city so you could just walk everywhere and then if I had to go to London and London then I would take the train so I've always had to like I, I've always I've never needed it um, and when I come to Panama, I usually come here for like three weeks, two weeks, and then I have to go back. So it's never like a need for driving. Hmm. But now that maybe if like I get accepted with my visa and stuff, like um, I'll maybe move to um, LA. And if I do, then that means I have to learn how to drive. 
Your journey has been very interesting because, you know, like I just said, you had this idea in your head that you needed to get out, you wanted to achieve these things, and you went to a school in Michigan, a very prestigious school there, the Liverpool Institute of Performing Arts. And what was the motivation to go to school and learn theory? Because one would think, oh, with this rich musical lineage that you do, with your great-grandparents having been in the music industry, your great-grandfather, very notably a very famous Cuban singer, you would think that, oh, this may come naturally to you. Well, um, like, I think it was my, my great-grandparents, both of them were into music and stuff, but like, I never met them. Like, by the time I grew up, like, I was born, they were, like, passed away. Um, so I would just hear about them, like, stories and stuff. Um, but I think mainly my main thing with going to these schools, it was not about the theory part. Sadly, till this day, I'm horrible at theory. Um, but it was kind of about, like, meeting people with my same like um, ambition and drive and dreams and to help each other out and stuff. And that has been, sorry, my sister. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> the TikTok star, we need to speak to the she TikTok. Walked in, she walked in fully dressed in a snow outfit. Alex, her Are you serious? There she is. Why are you in a snow outfit in Panama? <laughs> she's she... full on like a hat and everything. She was just like joking. She was like, I, no reason for her to do that. But she was just like, she wanted to zoom bomb this interview. No, she didn't know. I don't think she knew. That's so <laughs> If she walks back in, you got to bring her in. But we, 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 I would love to have an exclusive interview about this TikTok. My sister, yeah, she like ran out. I was <laughs> gonna, oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my god, sorry. Yeah, hi again. <laughs> no, that's okay. So basically, you went to these schools not just for the theory part of it, but you you wanted to get a, a more of a communal feel. You wanted to have. A, a, a relationship with people that thought the same way as you as opposed to what you were exposed to in your family yeah it was it was about that it was kind of like being able to be around people and then um you know like I had a lot of friends that like would get there and then barely go to school but they would get a band and they would start playing around the city and you know and and I think, of course, I was going to school 100%. I was like, I had to go to school because, you know, if my mom, like, found out, I, like, missed, like, a day, she'd get pissed. Um, but it was kind of like, sorry, there. Zoom. <laughs> Zoom <laughs> um, it was kind of, yeah, it was just, like, a lot. It was, but it was fun and it was good. And, and I learned a lot from the people, you know. You learn a lot from people. So you obviously released this EP, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been waiting quite a bit for the full collection of work because we had a few singles that were released last year. Congratulations on this EP. It's, it's fantastic. Thank you, so much. Uh, you worked with quite a few people on Gems. You worked with Oscar Scheller, who we are fans of. You also worked with a very notable name in the production world, uh, Johnny Latimer, who had worked with Ellie yeah. Goulding. And I you, post love you, you posted a clip of your guys' session on Instagram, which is awesome. And, and I find it so interesting, the process of creating the song, because what we hear was that moment of you changing a little bit. So you're like, hey, what about this? Coming in as a new artist and working with someone that experience, what was that like? You know, they were all so kind. Like, I was really nervous when I was like getting on the sessions because I'd say with Johnny, he had worked also with a lot of other artists that I really looked up to. And then um, same with like Oscar and, you know, and, but they were so nice like so kind like it didn't because I feel like the, the vibe in London is just like you work and then you, you know everyone's like yeah whatever I did this thing you know 
Sounds like a great experience so far. And of course, you getting signed to a major label is a big deal. It, what was your family's reaction to that? I can just imagine because oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to circle back to your musical history. This is an achievement, right? You're one of the very few Panamanian based artists uh, where you are really getting this international exposure. Thank you. Yeah. Um, my mom is, I think everyone's just very confused about it in a way that, well, more before, but like, because everyone was like, Sophia, what, why, like, what is happening? I was like, I don't know. And, um, you know, because I'm like, oh, little cute Sophia in Panama trying to do music, <laughs> you know, but it's like a career now and it's actually working or well, maybe hopefully it is I mean it seems like it is it's doing well I guess um but yeah it's it's kind of it's it's wild for all of us like it was like a dream of a 11 year old you know an 11 year old with like dreams and you think they're cute but my was, mom was really this was this in the notebook? How, what age was this supposed to yes, happen? Yes, it was. At 20. At 20, I was going to get signed. And I did. Wow. Yeah, it's wild. And But I put that at 21. I was releasing my first piece of music. But I released it at 20. So, so yeah, I, I, I got a little ahead of time. I'm kind of scared, though, because I wrote only until 20. Or like 20, 21, 22. And that's it. So um, I feel like I have to do the next 10 years. I was about to say that. Uh, I wanted to ask how much did you predict and how much is left, but now you got to make a new one. And I think you yeah, have- I'm kind of scared, but like, I feel like from now on, it's just like working hard. And then, you know, I feel like I worked towards being here, but and now it's just the hard work has to like really come through. You're TikTok famous. You have this EP out. The world is your oyster and great to meet you. And thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was so nice talking to you.